Did you know that the most devastating tsunami wave in history reached a staggering height of 1,720 feet? That's nearly three times the height of the Eiffel Tower. Tsunamis, these mammoth waves, are not just the stuff of disaster movies, but a potent force of nature that can strike with little warning. They are triggered by seismic events, such as earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, or landslides under the sea, causing the ocean to surge powerfully onto land. The results can be catastrophic, changing landscapes and lives in an instant. In today's discussion, we will navigate through the turbulent waters of history, exploring the five most significant tsunami waves that have ever hit our planet. From the ancient times to the modern era, we'll discover how these towering waves have shaped human history. So, let's dive into the depths of these devastating waves, starting from the lowest to the highest. Our journey begins in the 15th century with the Meio Nankaido tsunami in Japan. The year was 1498, a time when the world was expanding and yet, in the land of the rising sun, nature had a stark reminder of its devastating power. The Meio Nankaido tsunami, named after the Nankai region it affected, was triggered by an earthquake with an estimated magnitude of 8.6. The quake's epicenter was off the coast of Honshu, Japan's main island, and the tsunami waves it spawned reached heights of up to 6 meters. These waves swept across coastal communities, causing widespread destruction and claiming an estimated 31,000 lives. The aftermath of this catastrophic event was a turning point for Japan. It led to the realization of the need for better disaster preparedness and management. The lessons learned from the Meio Nankaido tsunami became a cornerstone for Japan's approach to these natural disasters. This event marked Japan's history and shaped its approach to disaster management. Fast forward to 1755 when an earthquake shook Lisbon and triggered a powerful tsunami. This cataclysmic event, known as the Lisbon Earthquake Tsunami, would forever change the course of history. On the morning of All Saints Day, an estimated magnitude 9 earthquake struck near Lisbon, Portugal. The quake was so powerful that it was felt across Europe, Africa and the Americas. But the devastation didn't end there. The seismic activity triggered a tsunami that swept across the Atlantic, causing widespread destruction. The city of Lisbon was hit hardest. As the earth shook, buildings crumbled, fires broke out, and soon after, a massive wall of water rushed in from the sea. The tsunami's waves reached heights of 20 meters engulfing the city and its surrounding areas. The aftermath was catastrophic, tens of thousands of lives were lost and much of Lisbon was reduced to ruins. This disaster wasn't confined to Portugal. The tsunami's waves radiated across the Atlantic, reaching as far as the Caribbean. This widespread impact underscored the far-reaching consequences of tsunamis and the need for a better understanding of these natural phenomena. The Lisbon earthquake tsunami served as a wake-up call. It sparked a flurry of scientific interest and inquiry. Philosophers and scientists of the time, including the likes of Immanuel Kant and Voltaire, sought to understand and explain the causes and effects of such a monumental event. Their work laid the groundwork for modern seismology and tsunami research. In the years that followed, countries started to develop strategies and systems to mitigate the effects of such disasters. This event highlighted the importance of preparedness and led to the development of early warning systems. Despite the tragedy, the Lisbon earthquake tsunami helped pioneer a new era of understanding and readiness for these unpredictable oceanic events. The Lisbon earthquake. Tsunami served as a grim reminder of the ocean's destructive power, but it also underscored the importance of scientific inquiry and preparedness in mitigating the effects of natural disasters. While we cannot prevent these events from happening, we can learn from the past to better prepare for the future. In 1883, the world witnessed a volcanic eruption so powerful that it caused a devastating tsunami. This eruption occurred on the island of Krakatoa, nestled between Java and Sumatra in Indonesia. The explosion was heard over 2,000 miles away, and the force of the blast was equivalent to 200 megatons of TNT. The aftermath was even more terrifying. The eruption triggered a tsunami that swept across the Sunda Strait causing immense destruction in its wake. Coastal villages were decimated and it's estimated that over 36,000 lives were lost. But from this catastrophe a silver lining emerged. Scientists began to understand the relationship between volcanic eruptions and tsunamis. They realized that the explosion and subsequent collapse of a volcano could displace an enormous volume of water, triggering a tsunami. This revelation led to a greater understanding of these destructive waves paving the way for future research and early warning systems. 
The Krakatoa eruption tsunami was a catastrophic event that changed the course of tsunami research. In 1946, an earthquake in the Aleutian Islands unleashed a tsunami that rippled across the Pacific Ocean. This seismic event off the coast of Alaska was the catalyst for a series of powerful waves that caused extensive damage, particularly in Hawaii. Hundreds of miles away from the epicenter, the peaceful shores of Hawaii were transformed into a scene of devastation as the tsunami waves swept inland, causing loss of life and significant property damage. But out of this tragedy came a turning point in our understanding and approach to tsunami preparedness. Recognizing the need for a comprehensive warning system, the Pacific Tsunami Warning Center was established in Hawaii in 1949, just three years after the Aleutian Islands tsunami. This marked the beginning of a global effort to monitor seismic activity and provide timely alerts to coastal communities. The Aleutian Islands tsunami was a wake-up call for the need for an effective tsunami warning system. It underscored the vital importance of being prepared, of being alert, and most importantly, of never underestimating the power of the sea. In recent history, the 2004 Indian Ocean tsunami stands out as one of the most devastating tsunamis ever recorded. The catastrophe was triggered by an undersea megathrust earthquake, one of the strongest ever recorded off the coast of northern Sumatra, Indonesia. The seafloor upheaval displaced an enormous amount of water, setting off a chain of deadly waves that radiated across the Indian Ocean. These monstrous waves moving at high speeds made landfall in 14 countries, causing unprecedented destruction. Thailand, Sri Lanka, India and Indonesia were among the hardest hit, bearing the brunt of the tsunami's wrath. Entire towns were wiped out, infrastructure was decimated, and countless lives were lost. In total, an estimated 230,000 to 280,000 people perished, making it one of the deadliest natural disasters in recorded history. The aftermath of the 2004 Indian Ocean tsunami was a period of intense grief, but it was also a time of global unity. Countries around the world rallied to provide aid, support and resources to the affected regions. This disaster served as a stark reminder of our shared vulnerability to natural calamities and sparked a renewed focus on improving disaster preparedness. In response to the tragedy, there was a concerted international effort to enhance tsunami detection and warning systems. The Indian Ocean Tsunami Warning System was established, aiming to provide accurate and timely warnings to potentially affected regions. As part of this system, seismographic networks were upgraded, deep ocean sensors were deployed, and coastal tide gauges were installed. Moreover, countries began investing in disaster education, teaching communities about tsunamis, and how to respond when warnings are issued. The goal was not only to rebuild what was lost, but to ensure that if another tsunami of this magnitude were to occur, the world would be better prepared. The 2004 Indian Ocean tsunami was a tragic event that underscored the importance of international cooperation in disaster preparedness. It reminded us that when faced with the unpredictable power of nature, our best defense is preparedness, vigilance, and the collective strength of the global community. From the 15th century Mayo Nankaido tsunami to the 2004 Indian Ocean tsunami, we've explored the five biggest tsunami waves in history. We've journeyed through time, from Japan's shores in 1498 to Lisbon's devastation in 1755, the Krakatoa eruption's far-reaching effects in 1883, the Aleutian Islands earthquake in 1946, right up to the heart-wrenching catastrophe that swept across the Indian Ocean in 2004. These natural disasters have not only changed landscapes and nations, but also our understanding and approach towards tsunami preparedness. They've emphasized the importance of early warning systems, international cooperation, and most importantly, public awareness. Each of these events serves as a stark reminder of nature's unpredictable power, urging us to stay vigilant and prepared. Remember, knowledge is power. Stay informed, stay prepared. If you guys want to watch something just like this, click on the video on the screen.